So cold here. So let's start with our actual energetic warm up and see where we go from there. So this is the three part breath in and then the emphatic exhalation out breath of joy. So inhale to the front, out to the sides, all the way up above your shoulders, bend your knees, exhale with a hop. And we'll do it faster. Front, sides, high, hop. Front, sides, high, hop. Front, sides, high, hop. Front, sides, high, hop. In, 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 hop. In, 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 hop. A couple more times and hop. Once more and hop. And back in the mountain pose and see if you stir that circulation up a little bit to warm you. Take a moment to feel it. Get centered and rounded. Make sure your toes are spreading. Knees going towards your second toes, city bones down, core activated, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. Take a moment and focus inward, get that yoga perspective. Remember, where your attention goes, that's where the energy is working. And we'll do it again. Inhale, out, high, up. Front, sides, up, up. Front, sides, up, up. Front, sides, up, up. In, 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 up. And a couple more. Up, once more, and back to mountain pose. And again, just take a moment, feel that circulation warming you, hopefully a little bit more. And then we'll do our usual warm-ups. So inhale to arms at shoulder level. Exhale, hands to your chest, keep those elbows up. Inhale out, but keep the shoulders down. And then clasp your hands behind you. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, get a nice back bend, and exhale, pivot over. Hands coming up toward the ceiling, head down toward your legs. Move your chin around, release your neck. Take a few breaths here, lift your sitting bones, get those legs stretching a little more, spread your toes, bend your knees, and slowly from the bottom of the spine, work all the way back up and into another nice upper body back bend. Lift your heart, stretch your head back, but remember, don't lift your chin too much. Inhale up, release your arms, and just take a moment feeling your body. And once again, Arms at shoulder level, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, keep those shoulders down. Pass the other way behind you, shift those fingers one position over. And again, a back bend, spreading your toes, stretching your head back, and pivoting at your hips, coming all the way over as deeply as your body wants to go. Hands toward the ceiling, relax your shoulders, lift your hips. <laughs> And then bend your knees, slowly work all the way up from the bottom of the spine into your back bend. Take a moment there, lifting your heart, stretching the back of your body out through the crown. And inhale upright, release your arms, and just take a moment focusing on what's going on for you. And we need to stretch our sides, open those ribs. So again, arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Pass them in press. Bring your arms back by your ears. Stretch your crown up, shoulders down. Stay facing forward as you lean to the side. So remember, don't lean that shoulder to the front. And push the foot you're leaning away from down for that extra rib opening. Feel the contraction on that opposite side. And notice your spine is going sideways. Inhale back to the center. Switch your hands around. Bring your arms back again by your ears. Stretch up and lean to the other side. Push the foot down you're leaning away from for that extra. And don't forget to breathe. And again, inhale to the top, keep the shoulders down as you bring your arms out and back into mountain pose. 
As you get there, just take a moment, shoulders rolling back and down a few times. And then get ready for our twist. So really stretch the spine apart so it's got room to move. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, <clears throat> hands above your shoulders and clasp the elbows. Just gently bring the arms back by your ears. <clears throat> stretch the spine. Exhale and turn to one side. And then another breath in, and pivot on over. Keep the weight on both feet <clears throat> as much as you can. Take a few breaths here. And stay in your twist and work your way back up. Lift your heart, pull your elbows back and your shoulders down. And remember, be gentle on your low back while you're twisting when you get into your back bend. Take a breath, elbows back, stretching away as you lift your heart. Inhale, upright, exhale around to the center and switch those arms around. And again, sitting bones down, crown high and twist the ears. Another breath and pivot over. Take a few breaths there, lift your sitting bones, keep your arms by your ears. See if the weight's still on both feet as evenly as you can. And then again, work your way back to the top in the twist into that upper body back there. Elbows back, chest high, shoulders down. And then inhale up, exhale around to the center, shoulders down. Move the fingertips up into extended mountain. Spread your toes. And then swab it up. So arms at shoulder level, pivot forward from the hips, stretch it out, and dropping the rag doll. Just head, tuck in your chin, bring your hands behind your legs if you want a little extra stretch and pull in. And then arms back to the front, knees slightly bent. And again, from the bottom of your spine line to the top, bring those shoulders back and down. And as you return into mountain pose, just take a moment again, noticing how your body is responding today. Make sure your toes are going straight ahead, knees toward your second toes, shoulders back and down. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. We'll go into our chair spot. So push your sitting bones way behind you. Keep your knees back behind your toes. Keep your arms next to your ears and just sink into your squat as deeply as you want to go. So if you get your pair, thighs parallel to the floor, that's fine. If you don't, that's okay too. Just go wherever your knees can stand it. And push those hips back a little bit further. Get the weight into the heels maybe a little bit more. Take a breath. Lead with your fingers and come back up. Check to make sure those shoulders are still down as you get back into extended mountain. Keep breathing, keep that heart open, crown high, everything on, keep those cores activated. So we have our ribs toward your spine and up. And then once more, bending your knees, squat down. So you can go just a little, it doesn't have to be deep. We can go further, we can go as far as you want. Keep your spine as straight as you can. Sitting bones and crown reaching away, and then bring your hands to your heart. Stretch that spine apart, and we'll do our twist. So keep the hands right in the center of your chest as you turn to the side. You may only go a little way, that's okay. If you go until your elbow is outside your knee, you can use it for leverage and turn even further into the twist if you love it. But you don't have to do that if you don't want to. Hands still at the middle of your chest, so your whole body is turning into that twist, not just your neck or part of your body. Elbows are across from each other, pressing away. And then pivot back to the center. Release your hands, bring them back by your ears. And again, lead with those fingertips all the way back up. Shoulders down, hands out to the sides and to your mountain pose. Shoulders back and down, 
take a moment. <laughs> and of course, you know we need to do that once more. So we balance and twist to the other side. So remember, when you do your twist, you want that spine still stretching apart so it's got room to do that movement. Arms out, shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders. Again, we're squatting into our chair first. So go as deeply or not as you want. So you can do it from here into your twist. It's okay. Or you can go deeper if you want. Stretch it out. Keep those shoulder blades toward your waist. Hands to your heart right at the center of your chest. And again, we're going to turn the whole upper body. So hips, ribs, shoulder turn to the side. Get that elbow outside the knee if you like that leverage for extra twisting. And keep those elbows right across from each other. Take a breath. You're looking all the way to the side as you get into your full twist. Just breathe and relax as much as you can. And then exhale back into the center. Bring your arms next to your ears once more, shoulders toward your waist, and everything nice and straight as you lean with your fingertips back up to standing. Palms out and down. And once again, in mountain pose, just take a moment feeling all that twist energy through you. We're gonna do one more version. So if you like that previous version, stick with it. This one is just a little different. So take a moment to breathe. And again, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Keep those shoulders, shoulder blades going toward your waist. Make sure those toes and knees are still aligned and push your hips back, sitting bones behind you. Spine straight as you squat down, go to whatever level you want to go. Again, hands to your heart. We're going to stretch the spine apart. Turn to one side. Get your leverage if you like it. But even if you're just part way there, that's okay. And then we're going to separate the hands wherever you are. Look to the side. Keep leveraging on the knee if you need that or want that. Or just keep the arms stretching apart as you turn all the way to the side in that squat. So wherever you are, stretch it out. And then bring your hands back to your heart. Turn your whole body together into that squat. And again, bring your arms next to your ears, leading with it all the way up, extended mountain. And again, release your arms to your sides and take just a moment to breathe. Shoulders back and down or still activate. So one more balancing over to the other side. So again, arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders into your squat. So remember, sink back, hips back behind you. Make sure those knees don't go beyond your toes, whatever level of squat you go into. Take a breath, hands together to your heart. Turn to the side, stretching that spine apart so you've got room to twist. Bring your elbow outside the knee. If you like the leverage or not, it's always up to you. Keep those elbows stretching away. And then dropping one hand down, bringing the other one out and up. And again, stretch it as much as you'd like, turning to the side as much as you feel appropriate for you in your twist. Stretch your sitting bones and crown away from each other. Keep breathing. And then bringing the hands back together at your heart. Turn back to the center. Bring your arms again by your ears, shoulders down. Sitting bones and crown stretching apart straight. Inhale, fingertips leading back up and into mountain pose. Take a breath as you get those arms back down. Circle the shoulders a couple of times. Stretch the spine apart. And let's just do a little windmill, swinging side to side, feeling how that twist area along your spine is working. And then coming back to the center, bring your hands to your heart. Spread your toes. Look at your hands. 
Inhale in toward the ceiling. Nice little upper body back bend. So lift your heart and bring your hands behind you as you look at them. Exhale, hands to your heart. Put it on over and drop into a head dog. Slide your hands up under your knees on your shins into our halfway up stretch. Sitting bones back and crown forward. Remember, keep that chin tucked slightly so that back of the neck keeps stretching nicely. Shoulder blades towards your waist. And then dropping your arms down, tuck your chin in, pull in a little deeper even. Get a nice forward bend through the whole back of your body. And then hands together at the front and back to your heart into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just again, circle those shoulders, getting everything releasing maybe a little bit more motion through that upper back, moving one shoulder and then the other. And then back into mountain pose. Check your feet, make sure they're still in hip lift position with the knees going toward the second toe, sitting bones down, core activated, so we can do our balance practice. Spread your toes, so lift them up, get into that ball of the foot, base of the toe area, and then spread the toes out as you put them down without gripping, and then sink evenly into the base of the toes and heels on your balance leg. Check ankle, knee, hip, shoulder alignment, Check core activation, check shoulders back and down, and crown reaching up. Bring that other foot up as much as you want. Just a little bit of your balance challenge today, or pull it in towards your chest. Remember, don't let it slide over to the other side. And then circle your ankle both ways, keep it going nice and movable. And flex and point a couple times, straighten it out as you put it back down. Shift from that side over to the other, getting everything again, spreading out through the toes into that bow of the front base of the toe area. Shoulders back and down, or active. Make sure you're not gripping with those toes. Lengthen and stretch everything all aligned, and bring that other one. Sink into your foot evenly into the base of the toes and heels, and just as far into that part as you want to bring the leg on the side. And again, circle your ankle when it's feeling right for you to do so. And flex in point. And release. Take a breath. Exhale any stress and tension. And then again, bring your hands to your heart. Look at them and bring them toward the ceiling. A nice little back bend again. Swan dive this time, so bring the arms out at shoulder level as you pivot at your hips, bringing your chest forward. Stretch it out parallel to the feet. Exhale, drop in the right down again. Tuck in your chin, pull in your head towards your legs. And then release and roll up. Shoulders back and down as you get back into mountain pose. Bring your arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands right above your shoulders. Push up on one side, coming up on the toes of the other foot, lifting the heel. Get that side stretching flat and stretched from the foot all the way through the fingertips. Keep the shoulder blades about there. Hold your waist. Exhale that down. Inhale the other side. Get it nice and stretched open, lifting the heel on that opposite foot. And exhale down, bring your hands together. Inhale, bring them all the way up, looking. Oh, let's do another little back bend and swan dive forward again. Stretch it out and drop in the right down. Pull in deeper, get a good stretch on the back of your body. And then slide those hands to the front and up under your knees on your shins. Elbows, knees, and spine straight, looking at the floor. Stretch that back of your neck. Shoulder blades toward your waist. Exhale and release. Ragdoll. Just hang a moment. Hands together and again to your heart. 
and back into mountain pose. As you get back into mountain pose, just take a moment, roll those shoulders a couple of times to release any tension. And then again, hands to your heart. Inhale, lifting another back bend as you gaze at those thumbs, chest high. And exhale, pivoting over all the way into rag dog. And coming to the floor into our child pose transition. Hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, and forehead to the neck. Take a breath, just relax. Let the whole back of your body get a good stretch. And then inhale and sit up. Bring your legs to the front into staff position. So get those sitting bones nicely behind you. Press up through the bottoms of your heels, pulling the toes back. Get those legs as stretched out as you can. So bring the kneecaps towards your front of your thighs. Tightening them as you let that back of your legs hamstring area stretch maybe a little bit. Take a moment there and breathe. And then bring one foot to your right foot to your inner left thigh, knee out to the side. Get those sitting bones adjusted. Keep the toes up and the knees straight. Bring your hands to your sides and then out to shoulder level, shoulders down, palms toward the ceiling. Hands above your shoulders. Exhale, hands down to your shoulders. Sink into your sitting bones. Stretch it up. And exhale again, down to your shoulders. Shoulder blades always toward your waist, even as you again inhale and stretch up. And then chest bleeding. Reach for your foot or your leg or the foot. So bring your chest, chin toward your knee. Top of your head and toes toward each other. You can reach your foot. You can wrap your hands around your foot. Otherwise, just hold on to the ankle or put your hands down on the floor. Push those sitting bones a little bit further behind you. Keep the spine stretching straight. <clears throat> and then pivot your chest a little closer toward your leg. You may make it if you've got really good stretchability or not. So don't worry if you don't get close. Take a breath, just relax. And then bringing your arms back next to your ears, releasing your foot or the floor or wherever you were. Lead with your fingertips all the way back up. Turn your hands out and bring them down. Lift your knee and bring it back into step position. As you get back there, just take a moment noticing the difference on the two sides of your body. So we need to balance. So bending your left leg, put that foot into the inner right thigh. Legs still out to the front. Get those sitting bones nicely behind you. You're going to again be pivoting right there at the hip joint. Hands next to you, shoulders down. Bringing the arms at shoulder level, palms to the floor. And then turn the palms up, hands above your shoulders. And again, sink down, hands to your shoulders, down into your sitting bones. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale and sink. And once more, stretch up and release. Get a really good stretch this time so we can pivot forward. Keep those shoulder blades toward your waist as you reach for your foot and pivot your chest toward your leg, chin toward your knee. Keep those kneecaps going toward the front of the thigh up. And tightening that front of your thigh so that the leg can keep stretching out through the heel. Arms by your ears or reaching for your foot or down to the floor or your ankle or shin, wherever you want. Again, stretch it out. And exhale and deepen if it works for you. Keep that spine as stretched out and straight as feels right. And again, releasing your hands. Bring them arms by your ears. Lead with your fingertips all the way back up. Hands out and back down, lifting your knee into snap position. Take a moment as you get there, feeling your body a little bit more stretched and open. And then using your core, feet to the end of the mat, slowly roll to the floor. As you get all the way down, just take a moment, 
reclined integration, letting everything get stretched and straightened. And bring your arms to T position. Let's do palms up. Sitting bones toward your heel, back pressing down. Raise your right leg toward the ceiling as straight as you can. You can bend it if you need to. We're rolling all the way to the left side. Head on the floor, hands together, foot all the way down. Hold your foot if you can with your left hand, otherwise just hold the leg with it. And bring your right hand up above your shoulder to the ceiling. Keep that shoulder relaxed as you bring the back of your hand toward the floor right behind you at shoulder level. So don't bring it up toward your head or down toward your foot. And just turn your head and look back at that arm behind you for your neck area twist. Keep your hand on your leg or your foot and stretch that leg or foot away and get that lower back maybe a little more twisty. And just like gravity, bring your middle back into the twist as that hand goes toward the floor. It may not work it all the way down, but that's okay. Take a breath or two here, emphasizing that exhalation to release the ligaments, maybe a little bit more, and just allow your twist to happen. But we need to release, so let go of your leg or foot, roll onto your back, flex the heel, and use your core as you lower the leg all the way down. As it gets back down, just readjust. Notice that twist energy through your body, through your spine, and get ready for your opposite twist. So sitting bones towards your heels, back to bring that left leg up, either bending or straight all the way. We're rolling to the what is this right side, hands together and foot all the way down on the floor. Keep your head down. Remember, don't strain that neck. Reach your foot if you can, or your leg. Left hand above your shoulder, palm open. Back of the hand lowering behind you as you look at it, turning into that twist as deeply as you want from this side. So remember, personal practice always on your twists. Just go wherever that gravity brings you with your hand. Turn your head for that neck area, push your foot away, and maximize the lower back if that's right for you. And don't forget, just like gravity, and the exhalations release the spine into your twist. Take a few breaths there, just breathing and relaxing. And of course, hold your twist longer on your own. It makes them even better. But for now, just let go of your foot or leg, turn onto your back, press the back gently down as you lead with your heel, using your core for support as you bring the foot to the floor. And when it reaches there, feet hip width apart, toes slightly toward each other, bring your hands near your hips, palms up slightly away from your sides. Take a deep breath and let those shoulders relax, stretch the spine, and as you exhale, just let your body grow heavy and sink into that surface beneath you. And as you let the earth support your body, just grow heavy and sink deeper into it, letting everything go. Deep breaths in, exhaling any tension, and just let your body go completely. As your body relaxes, just allow your mind to relax as well. No need to remember the past or anticipate the future. No need to think about the body or anything else. Just let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And as you breathe and sink and your mind floats away, just allow your awareness to release both your body and your mind. And as that awareness sinks deep into the peace within, just let the peace fill you. Body, mind, being, peace.
Of course, if you're super relaxed today and have opportunity, just stay relaxing even longer. Take that time. If it's your time to get ready for the rest of the day, just be enjoying energy and awareness with your breath back to the moment, to the morning, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just move your body gently, however feels right for you to do it. Breathing more fully, stretching more completely. And when you're ready for your final yoga hug of appreciation, bring your sitting bones toward your heels and your back toward the floor. Draw your heels toward your hips and your knees toward your foot. Wrap your arms around, however is feeling right for your appreciative yoga hug today. Give your body and yourself full of appreciation for the work your body does for you every day and in yoga today. And when you're ready to release, bring your head or feet to the floor or over to the side and sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead in your day today. Thanks for joining me.